Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dan, the voice behind that Kaito Dan, and welcome to a quick Ruby News update. Just a little update for me though, the very first video from the Ruby ship name analysis project is on its way. There's a lot to go through, and it's a big project. And because of that, parts are going to be uploaded when they are done. But I hope you will all watch and enjoy my insight on this big side of the fandom. But back onto the topic at hand, we've got some news on the Japanese side for Ruby. Starting off with a manga, artist Shiro Miwa has posted on his Twitter news that after the next chapter, we'll be going into brand new territory. So far, the manga has been exploring content mostly to do with the stories contained in the color trailers, but coming up will be a brand new story set during volumes 1 and 2. Though not much else is known, just this picture of Ruby and Yang that he posted with the update as well. But it's going to be really interesting to see what this manga explores, especially since this would be around the time that Team Ruby has just pulled itself back together post Blake's Faunus reveal, and before the first event of the Vital Festival, which was the dance. But it should be fun, and I hope we get to see more of the other teams involved too. The other big news though, comes out of Comiket where not only have we heard when the theatre and home releases of Volumes 2 and 3 will happen, as shown in this picture, but we've also got some casting information on some key characters. First up, we've got Neptune, voiced by Yoshiki Nakajima, who has mostly done smaller roles, but has voiced characters like Biopetal from Android, Kopu from Dragon Collection, and Seigo Cameo from Ging Itsune. Then we have the resident thief, Emerald, voiced by Marina Inoue, who many might know as the voice of Yoko Littner from Tengen Topper Gurren Lagann, Armin Arlet from the Attack on Titan series, and someone that I'm very familiar with, Alicia Melkiot from the Valkyria Chronicles series. Now for her partner, Mercury Black, voiced by Hikaru Midorikawa, who's voiced Lancer from Fate Zero, Zelgaidus from the Slayer series, and a guy who's better off with his fist than his feet, Akihiko Sanada from the Persona series. Then we got the Japanese voice for Coco Adele, provided by Shizuka Ito, the voice behind characters like Bitch Sensei Arena Jelovic from Assassination Classroom, Akeno Himijima from the High School DXD series, and Lena Lee Lee from D Greyman. Japanese folks will now get to see James Ironwood as well, with his voice coming from Masaki Terasoma who has played Kosuke Niwa from DNA Angel, Soichiro Kizuki from Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works, and Hidan from the world of Naruto. And finally, we have the masked man Adam Taurus, voiced by Yuichi Nakamura, who has played the likes of Tomoyo Okazaki from the Clanad series, Grey Fullbuster from Fairy Tail, and Blaze Blue's resident trolling asshole, Hazama. Some exciting voices there for the folks in Japan to look forward to, and I'm really interested to see what they bring to the characters. Let me know though how you feel about these new cast members, as well as what you want to see from that new story from Shiro Miwa's manga. Like and subscribe if you wish, and follow me on Twitter at ThatKaitoDan for more Ruby news posts, video updates, and more. Until next time though, have a good day or good night, and peace out.